We're keeping our eyes on a big storm that could add more wet misery to the waterlogged flood zones of America. ABC's meteorologist Ginger Z is tracking how big and when. Soaked again in the southeast. A stationary front dropping relentless rain from Alabama to the Carolinas. And tonight, we're watching a tropical low pressure system near the Yucatan Peninsula. One path has it heading toward the Florida Panhandle, an area prone to tropical flooding. We were there just last year. Charleston, South Carolina was soaked Wednesday. Cars stalling, people pushing and treading through the overflowing streets after up to six inches of rain. In Columbus, Georgia, a playground drowned. So many of you tweeting me sick of it. She's not far off. This summer has been exceptionally wet. Alabama, Georgia, Virginia, and the Carolinas had one of their top five wettest Julys on record. Florida had their number one wettest. And when soil's already full of water, then you get those heavy rains on top of it, it comes to the surface more quickly, pooling, flooding, and causing chaos. Now, the National Hurricane Center is giving that tropical low that's over the Yucatan right now, about a 50% shot of becoming organized into a tropical cyclone in the next couple days. If it does do that, it would be called Fernan. Either way, we've got to warn you that the next weekend in the southeast is going to be a mess. And look at this. This is how much rain is going to fall. Anywhere from 5 to 10 inches in that deep green area, Tallahassee included, 3 to 5 even too much in other parts of Florida and Georgia. And I've got to tell you one more storm we keep an eye on, but it's far, far out in the Atlantic Ocean. Now called Tropical Storm Aaron. It strengthened overnight. That's what it became. And look, it's still far away, but hey, this time in the tropical storm season, heating up, and we're watching it, Diane. And all that rain for those waterlogged areas. Thank you so much, Ginger Z.